Well, I'm delighted to be here in the Liverpool Library to celebrate the completion of the digitising of, of my family's archive. All the Victorian Earls are here and a lot of earlier papers too. Uh, and Liverpool Library, with its amazing record office, its fabulous refurbishment, and this is where the papers have been for some years now, and this is going to be a great long-term home for them. Prior to coming to the library, the archives were all at Knowsley, uh, and my uncle, the 18th Earl, deposited many of these books a long, long time ago, and many of the papers too. Uh, and then when the 18th Earl died in 1994, we had a good look at what was at Knowsley and what was in, in the city. And we also have a number of papers up at the public record office in, uh, in uh, Preston for, for the Lancashire archive. And so we tried to consolidate and match them up. And the, th the theory is that Liverpool now has all the political papers for the 19th century. The Stanley family history in the Earls of Derby is so intertwined with, with the national story and these political earls where the 13th Earl had Edward Lear drawing them, painting in the menagerie at Knowsley and so it tells a fantastic natural history story and all the nonsense rhymes were written there and through the 14th Earl who was Prime Minister and the 15th Earl who was Foreign Secretary covering Whig, Tory and Liberal administrations. And so there's an amazing collection of letters to and from the family between Queen Victoria, with Disraeli, with Gladstone and all sorts of other people of the day. Wellington, Nelson, some really historic names that are featured and it'd be fabulous for people to be able to see and enjoy these online now. To think that that bit of family history is going to be so much more readily accessible to people than it ever has been in the past. It's always been available, but it's jolly hard work trying to work through original scripts in live, and I think it will be much quicker as an online resource.